In this lesson, we're going to copy that uh, single brick to a cloud of points. So here we are with that brick at the geometry level. And what we want to do is create a, another piece of geometry that we're going to brickify. So we press enter with the test geometry rubber toy. And this is sitting here at the origin. We want to double click in and we're going to change the scale to, let's go three, make this a little bit bigger. Then we're going to go tab and we're going to go what's called match size. And this will allow us to sort of force that object to sit on the ground. And um, even if we change the object, it will always sit on the ground. So there we go. So now we've got the geometry. This is the one that we want to turn into a sort of brickified shape. So we're going to right click here and go um, point from volume. And that will automatically create a cloud of points within this shape. So within the boundaries of the shape. And if you go to the select tool and press N, um, you'll see that we've got all of our points. Make sure you have point selection on. Now if we go back up to this level, um, we can change this. Let's just change the name of this to rubber toy. And so we've got the rubber toy and we've got the single brick sitting here at the object level. So what we want to do is select the rubber toy first, then shift select the brick, and we're going to go to the modify shelf and say combine. And this will bring them together in one network with a merge node. Now we don't want to merge them, so we're going to select that and delete it. And what we're going to do instead is we want to have another node that will connect them. So if we go output here and we go copy to points, we will place the node down connected there and then we just wire the brick in the other side and there we go, we have the copy to points. If we set the display flag, you'll see that we've got those selected. Now there's something a little off. I, our points are not uh, the right separation from each other. So it's just a matter of going back to the points from volume and changing the point separation to point two, which matches uh, the size that we made the bricks. And there we go. So now we've got our bricks um, nicely encompassing the shape of that particular object. Now, once we have that, uh, we want to just check the display. Uh, depending on your computer, you might not see all the bricks. So if you press D and you go to optimize, you can turn off this distance pace pack geometry culling, uh, and that will give you a better result there. And there we go. So now we've got the bricks all over uh, this particular shape. And now we want to go and do some other things with that. Uh, in the meantime, just to organize a little bit more, we're going to take this and put it into a network box. And this is everything that went into making the brick. We're just going to call that single brick again. And then we can collapse that and just put that there. It doesn't mean those nodes have gone away. It just means we're, we don't anticipate looking at them right now. So we're just going to have them organized within this, this um, this widget. And there we go. Now for some color.